Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Linear Functions Lesson Number 7, Systems of Linear Equations Home Review Part 3. And in this one, we're going to be solving a system of 3x3 three three equations. But this time around, there doesn't appear to be any type of uh, coefficient that particular variable all have the same or opposite though. So this one's a little more challenging. Uh, before we begin, I hope you guys uh, give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, leave a question or comments in the video, uh, in, the, in the comment section below. Really help us out to give us a like. Uh, in this way, more people can get, get to watch more, watch the video more often. So now we take a look here. It says algebraically solve a system of following system equations. There are two variables that can be readily eliminated but your answers will be the same no matter which you eliminate first. Now, when they say this, which, what would mean two variables which can be easily eliminated though? Well, in this situation, we're gonna see that none of the variables, X, Y, or Z, all have the same or opposite variables. So it's hard to pick here. However, however, we do have, a, I guess, a step we can follow in this situation. There may be times when none of the variables have the same opposite coefficients. When this happens, it helps to find a variable has a coefficient of one or negative one. That'll be the variable we're going to eliminate first. We will multiply that equation by the opposite coefficient of its matching variable in the other equation, and then combine to cancel out that variable. Now, what does this mean? Well, we see from our equations that there appears to be more than one variable that has either one or negative one. Let's take go back to the question here. And in the equation, we see that the first equation is negative one z, and the second equation is one x, positive one x. And so we can choose either the z or the x to get rid of. Either one's fine. And uh, you know what? Let's try out x in this case. So now what happens is we're gonna try to get rid of the x. Why? Because of the fact that this has a a positive one here. And that will mean in this case that we can multiply, we can combine uh, the multiple of this equation to cancel out another equation. So for example, we're, let's combine in this case these two. The 2x plus 5y minus 1z equals neg 35. And of course, the second equation. Now, the second equation has one x, but we want to cancel out the x with, you know, with a, I guess, a negative two x. To do that, we need to multiply the second equation by negative two. So we're going to multiply in this case both sides by negative two. That means we'll have negative two x plus 6y minus 8z is equal to negative 62. And we combine that with the 2x plus 5y minus 1z is equal to neg 35. If we add downwards, we'll find in this case the x's will cancel each other out. We're going to get in this case 6y plus 5y is 11y. And negative 8z minus 1z is equal to negative 9z. And of course, neg 62 plus neg 35 will give us negative 97. And that will be the first equation we're going to have. Okay. Now, we're going to, in this case, combine the second equation with the third equation. So for the third equation, let me kind of move everything over a little bit. Let me kind of combine everything here. Kind of group this together. Now it's already done. I can actually shrink this down a little bit to make some space. And the writing is a little, a little more legible. Okay, still there though, all right? So now we're gonna take our third equation in this case, negative three X plus two Y plus 2z equals neg 23. And now with the second equation, but now because we want the, the opposite of negative 3x, I want to multiply the second equation by positive 3. So 3 times 1x minus 3y 
plus 4z equals 3 times 31. And again, we're doing this mainly to, to be able to get the opposite coefficient for the x's. So I have, I have positive x minus 9y plus 12z equals 93. And we're combining that with the neg 3x plus 2y plus 2z and equal to neg 23. Adding downwards, we will see in this case that the 3x and neg 3x add to get 0. And negative y plus 2y is negative 7y. 12z plus 2z is plus 14z. And finally, 93 plus neg 23 is equal to 70. And that's our second equation. And we'll combine this with 11y minus 9z equals negative 97. One of the things we should also notice that might be helpful for us is that for our second equation in green, we should notice that each of those, ex each of those terms can be divided by 7. And so why does it help out? Because getting, this, getting a variable that's a, that's a coefficient of 1 or negative 1 actually makes our job easier for the next part. So let's divide everything by 7, and we get negative 1y plus 2z equals 10. And this is now our equivalent equation we're going to use to combine. And just like I did before, I'm going to shrink this down a little bit so this we can fit some more space here. Let's group this together. And I'm going to move this oh, little shrink down a little bit here to the relative size so that we can fit everything here within the screen. Okay, so now we see in this case, you have a negative 1y plus 2z. I'm going to make sure there's a z here. z, 2 z equals 10. Let's try to cancel out the y's. And so because we have 11y minus 9z equals neg 97, and we have a negative 1y, let's multiply that second equation by, it looks like we'll multiply by 11. So 11 times negative 1y plus 2z equals 11 times 10. And that will give us negative 11y plus 22z equals 110. And we're combining that with the 11y minus 9z equals neg 97. We'll see now in this case that the y's cancel are out. And this is a little more work, it's, it is, but not beyond our ability. And so we see these cancel out, and 22z plus negative 9z will, should give us, I believe, 13z. And then 110 minus 97, I believe we should be getting, well, I think it's gonna be 13. Divide both sides by 13, we'd, we're gonna get z, is equal to 1. And that works out very nicely for us because now what we can do is we can fit together our this equation here to solve for y. So now we have <clears throat> negative 1y plus 2 times 1 because the z is 1, 1 equals 10. So negative 1y plus 2 equals 10. Negative 1y is equal to, well, subtract two on both sides, of course. Negative y equals 8, divided by negative 1. y is equal to 8. And now, from here, we're going to use our y value and z value to solve for x. And I guess what we'll try to do is kind of, uh, you pick the second equation because we'll have x by itself. So finally, So we plug into the equation 1x minus 3y plus 4z equals 31. And now we substitute. Well, 1x minus 3 times negative 8 plus 4 times 1. 
should equal to 31. So x plus 24 plus 4 equals 31. Or x plus 28 equals 31. Subtracting 28 from both sides. x is equal to 3. So we get x equals 3. y equals, oops, y equals negative 8, and z equals z. Oh, that's having a hard time writing these letters. z equals 1. We see if we were to plug in these values into all the three equations, we should make we should find out that the left side equals right side. Don't forget to do a check just to kind of balance things out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the end of part three of our algebra two linear functions le lesson number seven, system of linear equations, home review. And I hope this was helpful. Please make sure that you, if you found this helpful, to leave a like. Let me make this full page to see everything here. Uh, leave a like uh, and any comments or, or any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Uh, we have one more question. And again, this will, the last question will be the challenging one. So <clears throat> please make sure you come back and join us. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and be safe.